Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's power move, we're actually gonna do a series of videos. We're gonna talk about this project here, which came from a question on Discord. Somebody was asking how you would go about lofting this horn for this helmet uh, from a very popular video game. And uh, the answer that I gave them was in the form of a video and covered a lot of cool SolidWorks tips, like how to bring in images, how to scale them at one-to-one, -one, how to take two 2D sketches and project them into a 3D curve, how to loft using a surface, how to do a fill surface up at the top, how to knit all those surfaces together and turn it into a solid, and a few other tips and tricks along the way. So I thought this would be a fun series of videos to do as power moves. And let's get started by talking about where these images came from. So I found these images here on this website, Volpin Props. If you wanna look it up, this came from a blog by Harrison Cricks. And we can see here that Harrison was commissioned to turn this geometry into an actual physical helm. So pretty cool blog here if you wanna go through and see what the process was of turning this into a, uh, an actual physical helm. And that is where these images were derived from. So the other thing that I had to figure out was I had to figure out what the dimension would be for a helmet like this from the uh, side to side dimension. So from here to here and from the uh, bottom to the top. And I figured it's about 200 millimeters wide by 250 millimeters high. So those are gonna be the first things you're gonna need. You're gonna need to collect your images. Maybe they come from an industrial designer. Maybe they come from photographs. You know, wherever those images come from, you need to collect those images. And then the second thing you need to do is get some physical dimensions so you can get those images into SolidWorks at a one-to-one -one scale. Now, once you have those images, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna uh, take those images and crop out the views that you want. So whether you're working from photographs or whether you're working from images from an industrial designer, you don't want all the images together in, in one single location. You want them split out into individual image files. So I'm using a free photo editing software here. It's called paint.net. And this let me create a uh, an image of the the front or the sorry the right side view. So I just went here on this main image, took this, did a copy, did a paste, and then I just cropped the image down. So it's you know basically only to the extents of the geometry. And then I did the same thing here with the front view. So now we've got our images. We've got our images as standalone images, and now we're ready to bring those images into SolidWorks to get this process started. So we're gonna start a new part here. I'll make this in ABS MMGS. I'm gonna go front plane, begin a sketch. And what I'm gonna sketch here is gonna be a rectangle at those physical dimensions that I that I determined are gonna be the size of the, the main helmet. So that's gonna be 250 by 200. The other thing that I do when I'm making these layout images is a lot of times I'll create some additional geometry, like maybe a vertical line going down through the center or a horizontal line. Or if I happen to know some other dimensions, like if I know that the eye hole is supposed to be at a certain distance off of center, I might create an additional line here, some additional geometry to help me align the photo to my layout sketch. But in this case, I'm just gonna make a vertical center line and that is gonna be my layout. So I'm gonna rename this, I'll call this uh, layout rect and I will uh, uh, call this front view. That's my layout sketch. I'm also gonna right mouse button on this sketch and choose sketch color. So that's another kind of pro tip when you're working with uh, layout images or when you're working with sketches in general, sometimes it's really helpful to change the color of those sketches. In this case, when I bring in the image, that red is really gonna pop, it's really gonna show through. And then I'm gonna uh, just rotate the view a little bit. So I'm using my arrow keys here to rotate the view just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go to the right plane and begin a sketch. And I'm gonna drop in a couple of center lines. And this way I'll be able to drop in that right side view and I'll be able to size it to the same height uh, as that 250 millimeter dimension. So I'll rename this one uh, layout side and then I'll right mouse button on this one and say sketch color and I will change that to red as well. So that should set me up nicely to bring those images in. You can see here in the completed model, that's actually how I started the uh, completed model here. So I started out with these two sketches and then I was able to bring in the image from the front 
and resize it to that rectangle and bring in the image from the right side and resize it to those lines. And that is what we're gonna be doing in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned about how to collect your images, how to crop those images, how to create a layout sketch in SolidWorks and change that sketch color, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe, and of course, be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.